Hi everyone, TJ from Avid here, and we are back talking more about MBOX Studio. In our last video, we talked about setting up your control room monitors with MBOX Studio, and in this video, we're gonna talk about creating cue mixes in your headphone outputs to have the perfect headphone mix for any situation. That being said, let's jump in and get started. MBOX Studio has two independent headphone outputs with level control on the front of the interface. Just plug the quarter inch TRS jack of your headphones into one of the headphone output jacks. Use the encoder next to the jack to control the output level of the connected headphones. Once you have your headphones connected, we need to set up what will be sent to them. To do that, select one of the headphone outputs in the hardware output section of MBOX control. Once selected, you'll see that the mixer fader caps of the hardware input and software input sections of the software will turn the color of the selected hardware output. This will allow you to create a custom mix of any of the input sources coming into the interface. For a simple mix consisting of the current Pro Tools mix with the talkback mic, just turn up the faders on internal one, two, like I have here, and the talkback channel. Make sure to set the talkback mic input gain in the monitor section in the lower left-hand corner of the MBOX control software. If your talent requires a more comprehensive custom headphone mix, here are the steps to do that. First, select the headphone output channel in the hardware output section. Next, turn up the faders on the channels you'll want to hear in the headphones. You can have a combination of an overall mix coming from Pro Tools or separate sends for individual or groups of outputs. This is good when the person recording needs a different balance of tracks than what the person in the control room is hearing. To do this, just set up separate mono or stereo sends in Pro Tools on the different tracks to send out individual software outputs to the MBOX control software. These can easily be configured for mono or stereo operation in MBOX control by clicking the little circle icon at the bottom of the mixer channel. For the lowest monitoring latency on an actual physical input into the interface, set the levels of the hardware input sources in the hardware input section. This, in conjunction with the low latency monitoring option in Pro Tools, will mute the channel output in Pro Tools when a track is record enabled allowing you to only monitor the direct input of a channel while recording. Taking the track out of record input will put it back in the mix output. You can have independent setups for both headphones one and two, giving each individual their own custom mix. So this video has taken you through the basic steps to setting up cue mixes using the headphone outputs on MBOX Studio, Make sure that you join us for our next video where we are diving into the effects section in MBOX Control. Thanks so much for joining us and we will see you on the next one.